in the first week of February. From the 9th to the 11th of February, I'll be at Fully Charged, or it's now called Electrify Everything in Australia, in Sydney. I'll be doing a few sessions there, live sessions, and I'd love to see you. But even more important than that, guys, whether or not you want to see me or just see some other people or just see electric cars and electric technology, it's going to be an amazing show. If you want to get tickets there, you should. You should go see it. They're 20% off if you use my promo code. I will put my promo code in the description below. So you can click on the link, jump on, get 20% off your tickets. Now that 20% discount applies to all ticket types. So not one type, but all ticket types and all days. I received a really, really angry email from someone who watches the channel saying that I have drunk the Kool-Aid Apparently I'm totally wrong and now I'm completely biased as a result. And what are they talking about? Well, they're talking about hydrogen. Is hydrogen the solution? Now, I was saying I don't particularly want to take a flight on a hydrogen powered aircraft. By the way, hydrogen and battery powered, to put those two things together, I just uh, it kind of worries me a little bit. Anyhow, Ford have, well, maybe they've drunk the Kool-Aid when it comes to hydrogen powered vehicles because Ford have just revealed their hydrogen powered truck. Is this an option? Is it a good idea? Well, General Motors think it is as well. General Motors and Ford are both investing hundreds of millions of dollars into hydrogen powered trucks and vans. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And I do think hydrogen has a part to play to some degree. Eventually, we will have green hydrogen, and eventually that can be used for various things. But for transportation, I think it's a terrible idea. The key reason being that battery prices have come down so much. Infrastructure is everywhere. I mean, every household in, every household in the Western world has an electricity power, power point, multiple of them. In fact, the power points everywhere, and full fast charging stations are being rolled out really, really quickly at a much faster rate than hydrogen stations. By the way, most hydrogen stations only have enough fuel to power maximum of 50 passenger vehicles. So you can imagine how well they would work for trucks or vans. Ford's hydrogen vehicle, in my opinion, is a bit of a waste of money. I think Ford need to double down on EVs, but they're saying they're gonna pause EV production or slow it down to 50%, which I don't understand considering Ford F-150 Lightning sales in the month of November were the highest ever in history, but that's what they're saying. And on the same day that they said that, well, they revealed this hydrogen e-fuel F-Max truck. Now, for some reason, I don't know if it's anything to do with the Biden administration's incentives for hydrogen powered vehicles, Money is being poured into hydrogen vehicle development, but it's not like this has just started. I mean, hydrogen vehicles have been, they've been in development now for over 40 years. It's just been recently that more money has been invested. Now, General Motors, they have a hydrotech fuel cell division, and they've invested along with Honda, a lot of money into hydrogen powered vehicles. However, Ford, we didn't know this, oh, I wasn't aware of it. They're doing the same thing. They've revealed the F-Max hydrogen fuel cell truck project. Ford recently revealed its e-transit battery powered electric delivery van, um, the new version, uh, which is pretty good. And I really thought Ford was all in on making electric vehicles. However, clearly they're not. Now hydrogens, now Ford's e-transit van is gonna be basically converted into a hydrogen van which will have fuel cells and apparently Ford will have delivery fleets under a three-year trial period. The trial will focus on fleets as per Clean Technica that have limited access to battery charging infrastructure with the idea that fuel cell vans can replace both diesel fuel and battery power. Now Clean Technica says, now Ford says the test fleet data will provide insights into the total cost of owning and operating a large van with increased range and operating hours to match its diesel powered equivalent without the need to charge. So Ford's obviously critiquing charging your vehicle to some degree here. And clearly Ford has been investing a lot of money into this. So even though it is a trial, they had to build this technology. They had to actually make this work. So it's been a lot of time and money invested. We can clearly see that. Ford has a hand in the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle business through Ford Otosin, says Clean Technica, 
a publicly traded firm in which the Ford Motor Company holds an equal 41% share with a Turkish company. Ford Atosin has been working on its hydrogen-powered e-transit delivery van project, and they are scaling up a heavy-duty fuel cell trucks as well. So there's two different projects going on here. On the 3rd of August, the legacy engineering firm Ballard Power Systems announced that it had partnered with Ford to supply a fuel cell system for the new F-Max prototype hydrogen fuel cell truck. The partnership includes a purchase order for two of Ballard's SC Move XD 120 kilowatt fuel cell engine. So 120 kilowatt, that's about 150 horsepower. Not a lot of power here. And I think that's gonna be an issue because these are 44 ton long haul heavy duty trucks. Now I personally don't understand how 150 horsepower can power a 44 ton long haul heavy duty truck, but anyway. Ford Trucks plans to build and assemble the fuel cell powered F-Max in Turkey and aims to commence European 10T corridor demonstrations in 2025 as part of its plans on selling these trucks all across Europe. So that's where Ford is going with this. The project will assess four fuel cell and five battery powered electric trucks for freight hauling in real life conditions and apparently all vehicles are expected to achieve a range of up to 750 kilometers with hauling payloads of more than 40 metric tons. Basically Ford is, it's kind of standing on the, you know, sort of trying to straddle both sides of the fence here. It's gonna test these electric trucks and hydrogen trucks, kind of see which ones they think work better. Maybe they'll make both of them, I'm not sure. Now it's not just happening in Turkey though, because on the 7th of December, the Norwegian firm Hexagon Purus announced that Ford trucks had engaged it to deliver a hydrogen fuel cell storage system for the F-Max fuel cell truck in support of this project. So clearly you can see that Ford are working on this. Now are they doing this in the United States? Well apparently it's possible that Ford could actually deploy hydrogen powered vehicles in the US. We know that General Motors has been working on fuel cell trucks in the United States for some time. So that's obviously something that would be on Ford's mind. I don't know what either company is doing. I don't think either of them know what they're doing either, to be honest. I mean, this whole kind of idea of hydrogen powered trucks. Well, here's the thing. The biggest trucking companies in the world over the past 12 months have decided they will invest more than $30 billion combined. That includes, of course, Mercedes trucking division. In fact, Packcar is investing in electric trucks. The biggest trucking companies in the world are pretty well well putting most of their money into electric trucks. So I think they've they've pretty much made the decision already. We've also seen now that Tesla is selling its semi, as in it's not just trialing them, it's actually officially building them and selling them. And they have a realistic real world range of 500 miles. In my opinion, that's sort of evidence enough for Ford to say, well, yes. There's demand for electric electric trucks. They work. Let's go in that. Let's go in that direction. But clearly, Ford is saying, no, no, we don't know. Maybe one will work. Maybe the other will work. We'll do both. I'm not convinced this is a good idea. But I really want to know what you guys think. Do you think that heavy duty and medium duty trucking will be electric or hydrogen powered in the future? Say 2030. Where's the market going to be? Thank you for watching.